I'm going to explain the strain index job analysis techniques. This tool is used for evaluating ergonomics risk or hera, um, hazards for uh, especially for hand, um, raised hands, elbows, uh, basically for upper extremities. And then it uses six different criteria to evaluate the risk factors. So uh, intensity of exhaustion, duration of exhaustion, effort per minute hand wrist posture and then speed of work and how long someone is working so you do this evaluation and it gives a score in each of these areas and then you multiply all of them to get the final score and you can do both for left and right so if the score that you multiply comes um, under three then the job is considered safe if the score um, is between three and five then whether we don't know whether this person is gonna be hard or not anything between five and seven is somewhat risky job and anything over seven is hazardous now I'm gonna use an Excel macro I'll post this Excel Excel macro in the openeducator.com so you can use that basically the way strain index is um, calculate the final score is basically it, it, it multiplies all this score to get the final score this excel basically macro is just multiplying all of this score in here to give you as you can see here this formula is basically um, multiplying all these scores all, all of these cells so that's how he's getting this score now let's give you an example because it's an upper extremity jaws I picked a job you can look at this this is a, an example job that can be used to um, for this 10 index analysis or this 10 index can be used for analyzing uh, the ergonomic series for the job so what she's trying to do is she's uh, installing this wire in this small white pieces and then uh, she used this guide to do that and then pass it to the next person so her cycle starts right here so she uh, picks that small piece and then um, what I'm gonna do is I will only do it for her right hand because she's right-handed most of the effort is done by the right hand so she is picking that and then installing that on the guide and after that she will pick the wire so I was consider for the hand install these small white pieces would be plastic pieces would be one f4 and then she pick one wire you see that black wire and then installing them would be one f4 and then testing that in another effort so installing that and then testing that pulling it up whether it's installed correctly or not so installing them one f4 picking them up testing another effort now someone might say that going to grab the uh, wire could be considered another effort. It's kind of depends, so it's 10 index also, some kind of subjective um, thing between uh, whether you consider grabbing this wire and bringing them is an effort. I wouldn't say that as an effort, but someone might say that's an effort too then that's kind of added to the number of efforts now if I don't consider that as an effort if I just see installing that fast white pieces the plastic pieces in there one effort and each of these wire takes two efforts because she is needs she needs to uh, install them and then test it so so one effort for installing the plastic piece and two for each of these wires so that's five for one set and then she is gonna um, unplug this, remove that from the guide to give it to the next person. So she's removing that, removing that. So that's three or four. So each of these three, um, each of these pieces is taking about six or four. So six times three total eighteen or four. So let's go back to the uh, tool. So if you look at the duration of intensity of exhaustion on a Borg scale, I would say it's barely noticeable. It's very very low. Her heart rate will be at resting um, at this job. So I would say it's barely noticeable uh, you can check the other video on how to use the Borg scale to kind of understand how to evaluate intensity of exhaustion so I would say it's barely noticeable duration of exhaustion I would say not really that much if you look at her work um, she is um, grabbing them so that's the time when she has installed them um, I would say less than 30% of the time she is uh, actually applying some force so grabbing is not really an 
uh, exhaustion when she tests that piece and install them that would be an exhaustion so i would say about 30 percent you can be precise of um you know calculating them uh, pausing the video if you want just for the demonstration i'm gonna without calculating i'll just guess about 30 percent now effort per minute i already counted that about 18 efforts and her cycle time also i have counted that you can go back to the video and check uh, about 40 seconds 42 42 seconds i would say every two uh, seconds she makes one effort is over 20 uh, efforts per minute hand reads i would say very normal posture um very relaxed pace i don't see she's really hurrying up and then i would say probably they work eight hours a period this job so if you look all of these then the score comes 4.5 if you multiply all of them that will be 4.5 now this 4.5 means that is probably um not we don't know what's gonna happen it's a little bit uncertain uh, whether this person gonna be hard or not so according to strain index um, it's not really uh, saying that it's a hazard a job or anything it just probably be okay um, so or maybe we can do some further investigation because it's not sure about whether the person gonna be hard or not we can do some additional analysis in one of the later video I'll discuss about which tools to apply and what you do in kind of um, this situation um, you know when when you find something uncertain uh, in an ergonomics using an ergonomic assessment tools for this uh, video though I just wanted to explain how to use this strain index.